In this video, I'm going to show you how on VS Code for Mac, you can take this long ass, ugly ass terminal prompt, which often makes your commands overlap onto a new line, and turn it into this minimal ass, colorful ass prompt, which only shows your current folder and a dollar symbol and nothing else. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that VS Code is using the ZSH shell and not the bash shell. So if you see bash up here, then we need to switch this to the ZSH shell. And by the way, you might have seen this message telling you how to make ZSH the default shell for your default terminal app. And if you want to do that, then you can just run this command here. But in any case, to make it the default shell in VS Code, we just need to click on this drop down and click on select default shell and then choose ZSH. And then we need to kill this terminal by clicking this bin button and then opening a new terminal. So how do we change this default prompt? Well, I'll show you how to change it permanently later, but we can change it temporarily from the shell itself. So what we need to do is type in prompt equals and then some single quotes. And then we can just put whatever we like within these quotes. So if I just leave it like this and hit enter, then you can see we have absolutely nothing in this prompt now. So let's say we wanna add a dollar symbol, then we can just put a dollar symbol inside these quotes and hit enter again. And we now see a dollar symbol for our prompt. And we probably wanna space after this dollar so that our commands aren't touching the dollar. So we can just add a space here and we now have a dollar with a space. So how do we add the current folder to this prompt? Well, we can do that by just adding a percent symbol, then a number, let's just say four, and then a tilde symbol. So what's this for? Well, that just represents the number of levels up to and including the current folder that it's gonna display. So if we set this to four, then we can see four levels leading up to the current folder. But I only wanna show one level, just the current folder I'm in. So I'm just gonna change this number to one. And I'm also gonna get rid of this extra space here. Uh, let's see how that looks. Yeah, I like it like that. So how can we make this prompt bold? Well, we can do that by using some bold tags. So let's say we have some text like this and we wanna make that bold. Then we just wanna surround that in percent capital B and then percent lowercase b like that. So let's just make the whole of our prompt bold. So I'm gonna add the opening bold tag at the start of this string and then the closing lowercase b bold tag at the end. So if we fire that, then the prompt is now bold. So this is already looking a lot better. And we can also add some color as well. So how do we do that? So again, we need to surround the text in some tags. And this time it's the F tags. So let's say I wanna make this text here a particular color. We need to put percent %F at the start and percent lowercase f at the end. And we also need to add some curly braces here. And we can pass in the name of a color here or an X term color code. And if we wanna pass in the name of a color here, there are eight colors available, which are black, red, green, yellow, blue, magenta, cyan, and white. So if we wanted to make this text blue, we would just pass blue into these curly braces. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna try and make our folder name blue. So I'm gonna modify this command, and um, this bit here is the bit that's spitting out the folder name, this percent one tilde. So I'm gonna surround that in these F tags. So percent capital F, and then at the end of that bit, percent lowercase f. And then I'll add the curly braces and just pass blue in here. And uh, let's fire that command. And we can now see the folder name is blue. Well, I'm gonna give cyan a try. So I'm gonna change that. I'll just change this color name in here to cyan. And we're not just limited to these colors, we can pass an X term color code in here instead. So if you go to jonasjasek.github.io slash colors, then we can see a chart here with all of the available colors. 
and these are the color codes here. And I'll put the link to this in the description. So I quite like this gold color here. So I'm gonna use this code to make my dollar symbol here that color. So I'm gonna modify this command, and there's our dollar symbol there. So I'll surround that in percent capital F, and then percent lowercase f, add the curly braces, and I'll just put the code 178 in there, and fire that. And I now have a nice gold dollar symbol. So I'm pretty happy with this now, but the problem is if we kill this terminal and open up a new one, then we lose everything. So how can we make this permanent? So I'm just gonna copy the code that I've been firing, this prompt command. So I'll copy that, and then I'm gonna jump to Finder, and we wanna go to our home folder, which should have your name, and we wanna open this .zshrc file. So I'm gonna drag that into VS Code, and then this command that we've just been firing in the terminal, we can just paste that here and save that. And now hopefully if we kill the terminal and open it up again, we can now see this gorgeous little thing every time we open a new terminal. If you found this video useful, make sure you subscribe, click the like button, and leave me some love down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.